In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the missing msvcp140.dll error message. So there's actually two different methods you can use to fix this. The first method is by heading over to an internet browser and you want to head over to this Microsoft page here. Now I'll leave a link to this in the video description. And once you're on this page, you just need to scroll down slightly until you see this x86 and x64 downloads. So what we need to do is first click on this x86 download and that should go into your downloads folder at the top here and we're just going to click on this file and you're either going to see two options here you're either going to see an option to repair or an option to install now for me i just see the repair button so i'm going to click on this and then just leave that a few minutes while it repairs all of your c files once that's finished you will need to restart your computer before these changes take effect now before we do restart our computer what we're going to do is just click close on this error message and then we're going to download the x64 bit version as well and once again we're going to open up this this file and once again just hit repair and then just leave that a few seconds while it repairs all of your files and now that that's finished we can close out of this window and you will need to restart your computer once your computer's restarted you can now check to see if that's fixed the error message if that's not working what you can do instead is head back over to an internet browser and from the search engine you're just going to type in msvcp 140.dll space download and hit enter now if you have a slightly different file that you're missing then what you'll need to do is just replace these numbers with the numbers of the file that you're missing and what this will do is bring up this website at the top www.dll-files.com click on this and then just scroll down slightly until you see the download section so the first thing we need to do is figure out whether we're running a 64-bit or a 32-bit version of windows now if you're not sure what version you have then just head over to your start menu search for system information and next to system type you're either going to see x64 or x32 so i have x64 here so i'm going to be downloading the 64-bit version but if it says x32 then you'll just need to download the 32-bit so i'm going to close out this window navigate over to the 64-bit version which is this one here and press download then just give that a few seconds while it downloads to your computer and as you can see this will download into a zip file over here so we're going to head over to our downloads folder on the computer and now you'll just need to extract this zip file by right clicking and selecting extract all and selecting extract so that should go ahead and open up this folder and we can now right click on this .dll file and then press the copy icon to copy this file. Now it doesn't matter whether you have the 64-bit or the 32-bit version as this step is going to be exactly the same. And once you've copied this file, you then need to head over to your C drive from the left hand side, scroll all the way down and double click on the Windows folder, scroll all the way down again until you see System32 and double click on this. And then what we're going to do is right click somewhere in this white space and then just press the paste icon icon to paste this file. If you get this message pop up, just press replace the file in the destination and press continue. So now that we've pasted this file into the system 32-bit folder, if you're running a 32-bit version, then that's all the steps you need to take and that should have now solved your error. If you're running a 64-bit version like myself, then what you'll need to do is just head back out of this folder, scroll down and select syswow64 and double click this. And then you're going to right click somewhere in the white space here and once again, press the paste icon select replace the file in the destination and once again press continue and as you can see that's now pasted into this folder over here now like I said you'll only need to do this in this folder if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows and now once you've placed this file in these two folders that should have now fixed any error messages you were getting if you did find this video helpful then let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one